In case you didn't know, the German government have officially lost their mind. They are now going to be allowing foreigners to join the German army. Yeah. So the original idea came from a few years ago when they decided to allow EU citizens who are not actually German to come and join the German armed forces. A lot of people knew what that actually was the beginning of. That was the beginning of the EU Defense Union or the EU Army. But things are getting much worse because uh, the German defense ministry have decided to say even if they're not EU members, EU citizens, they can and they should join our armed forces instead of their own country. I don't understand what's going on, but this is globalism on steroids. Yes, according to DW, uh, Germany weighs um, and allowing foreign citizens into the army. A senior lawmaker has told the DW a potential scheme could include people who are not just EU members and other countries as well. Now, Boris Pistorius, who's uh, in charge of uh, defense in Germany, has always been a supporter of the original scheme, the, the getting the EU citizens. Basically, we keep calling them EU citizens. These are citizens from different countries who happen to be members of the European Union. But now he wants everybody else to also join. And in return, they will fast track your citizenship. Oh, yeah, you could become a German. It's very attractive, isn't it? Well, we also have the members of the Free Democratic Party or FDP, including uh, Mary Agnes uh, Strack Zimmerman, who's come out to say this isn't really it because we are struggling to get our own people to join our army is actually because we want to be more diverse. We want to be more open. Basically, they don't believe in their own border or their own flag. Yes, their spokesperson for this scheme has uh, told the journalists that the proposal is not about filling gaps with foreigners, but rather an open discussion led by Boris Pistorius about the future of the armed forces. They didn't say our armed forces. They just said the armed forces. Allowing EU citizens to serve in the armed forces is not a new issue, they said. There are actually exceptional cases for soldiers when there is an official need. The other problem I have is that until a few years ago, even when it came to football national teams, so like the German national team or the, the, the England national team when it comes to football, when you had people with dual and, nat and, and nationalities uh, trying to, for example, you had a, a German Iranian and then the, that Iranian person says, well, I have a choice that I could either play for the Iranian national team or the German national team, but I'm going to choose to play for Germany because it's a better team. There was a, a, it's absolute outrage. Society completely kicks off saying, even when it comes to football, that's too much. But somehow, that was a few years ago. Somehow now, there's no outrage coming from citizens of Germany and the rest of the European continent. See, now they're saying this is an opportunity for residents in Germany. Residents, not citizens, because they want to fast track your uh, citizenship. Allowing people from other nationalities to serve in the German army would actually open the door for many of these guys who were born and raised in Germany, or maybe not even, uh, but they're living here, who don't hold German citizenship. For example, here in Dusseldorf, she said, referring to her own hometown, this is a Strax Zimmerman, saying there are more than 10,000 Greeks living here in Dusseldorf. Uh, so many young people in the second or third generation, and well, of course, this will make it easier for them. Ah, it is interesting that they're using a soft and more friendly case. So, no, the, the Greeks who just happen to be born in Germany. Look, we're talking about them. They're not talking about all the others who could be more of a problematic situation, who could create a problematic situation for themselves and Germany. But of course, as usual, we will keep you guys posted on 2CTV. Let me know your thoughts on Maya 2C, and we are the media.